Welcome back programmers, Guillaume here. Today I will continue presenting the features of the text editor of Pure Basic, and specifically today this is the find and replace features. So in the edit menu you have this find replace, Control F, find next and find previous. Let's have a look. Control F. This window shows up. You have the text you're looking for, the text you want to replace, we'll see that later, and some options. Here, one first thing to notice is that if you select some text, here I will select main, and you do Control F, that's the text that's going to appear by default in the text box here, okay? The whole window main, Control F, window main, okay? It's a combo box, meaning it's a combination of a text box and a drop-down list. You have the drop-down list here with the history of the words or the text you have searched for. So here, let's search for main all lowercase, okay? What are those options? Let's have a look. So here, main. Let's put my cursor at the beginning of the file, okay? and do find next. It finds the first occurrence of the main text. And then if you do edit find next, it will find the next one. And you can hit F3, main here, main image, status main, main status field, etc. If you reach the end of the file and you hit F3 again, no more matches, do you want to search from the start of the file? Let's say OK. So it goes back because the, the, the search, F3, the next one is going, well, actually the search is going downwards from top to bottom of the file, from beginning to the end. So F3 is going down, window main, menu main, main, etc. But if you want to search for the previous one, Shift F3 will give you that. Shift F3 goes to the previous occurrence, okay? F3 the next, Shift F3 the previous. Edit, find previous, Shift F3. If you reach the beginning of the file, like here, Shift F3, no more matches found. Do you want to search from the end of the file? Yes, so you can go to the end and continue with Shift F3, looking up searching upwards in your file for your text. Let's go to the beginning of the file. Control F. I'm looking for main. Now the options. Case sensitive. Here it is not checked, meaning it will find the main text, the text main, M-A-I-N, whatever the case is, okay? Find next, main with a capital M main with a capital M again. Let me write here main whole capital. Well, of course, see, it finds the main all capital letters. The case does not matter. Control beginning, control F. Okay, so case sensitive. It should, if you check the case sensitive, it will only look for the, the this text in this exact case. So find next here. I have to go to the line 119 to find the first one. And then main image everywhere, main image with capital uh, lowercase m. So that's for case sensitive. Let's remove it. Whole words only means that it will not look for, if you check it, it will not look for substrings of longer words. For example, if I were to type here domain, okay, if I go back here, find next, it's not looking, it's not finding the main in domain, okay. If I go back again, but I uncheck this, here I get the main in domain. So, once again, if you check whole words only, it will only return, only find the text as exact word, whole word, 
Makes sense. But what is a world? You can know what is a world by just double clicking somewhere and it will select the current world. So here the world contains the pound sign and the underscore. But to know exactly, you should know that it contains letters, a digits, underscores, and some extra characters that are defined in the preferences. Editor, editing, extra characters included in word selection. So as I said, letters, numbers, underscore, but also dollar sign, pound sign, star and person sign. So that's the whole words only. Don't search in comments, don't search in strings. Seems pretty obvious. If you check the don't search in comments, it will skip the comments. For example, here, there is a comment main. Okay, if I click here, find next, it will not find the main in the comments because I want to skip the comments. Don't search in comments or skip comments. Same thing for strings. It means strings literals. Okay, if I have a variable here, global t dollar equals main, like this. Here, if I search for main, it will find the main in the string. Okay, but if I don't search in strings, it skips the main in the string because it's a string literal. It's not looking into inside the string literals. That's what this option is about. And this one search inside selection only is grayed out because there is not no text selected. As soon as I select some text, see, it is activated. So here, Control F. I will, I will look for main inside the selection only. So it's looking for main here and F3, not anymore. Why not? I have no idea because it's not selected anymore. You have to do this again, find next, main. It will look for the first one, but if you want to select another one, you're not. So this feature does not work uh, very well, I find, not using it actually. It's, it's fine if you want to find the first occurrence, this main for example. So if I do that Ctrl F, this to return the main in main image here, I would need to do don't search in comments and search in selection only and find next, it will return the main image. But there is no way F3 doesn't work. It should Tell me there, get me there. Well, actually, no, because, okay. If I search in everywhere, but only in the selection, main, return this one, but the find next is not returning this guy. I don't know why. So that you should know. Okay, and now the replace. Okay, you found some text, but if you want to replace it with another text, easy. Okay, let's do the main again. Uh, control F, main. I'm going to replace main with, um, I don't know, <laughs> secondary. And same thing, the whole options here are working for the search and it's only going to replace it with whatever you guys selected here. Same thing, it's a combo box, text box plus the drop down list. Okay, so if you do find next, here you see the box here, the window stays open because you want to replace it. You want to be able to replace this word. And you can say replace. And what it does, it's actually replacing the main and searching for the next occurrence, replacing the text with this text and at the same time, finding the next occurrence of the text. So once again, replace, replace, or maybe you don't want to replace this guy. So if you want to skip, you can say find next. Find next until one that you want to replace. Ah, oh, this one I want to replace. Okay. This one too, this one too. I don't know. When it replaces, it keeps the case of this text. So if you have 
um, not case sensitive. So here I'm finding, let's, um, let's search for, come on, let's search for case sensitive main here. Okay. If I remove the case sensitive and I look for something like, okay, you want to find main here, whatever the case, but capital L, M, even if you find a one with a lowercase m, it will be replaced with the secondary with the capital S. Okay, so you should be careful about that. Okay, and if you want to replace all occurrences in the file, you can do replace all and boom, Pure Basic will tell, will tell you how many replacements it did. 135 matches found. Okay, all my mains are uh, replaced by secondary. In this only file, the control F, the find and the replace features of this particular window here are working for just one file, the current file that you're looking for. See now my, 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 <laughs> my procedure is called secondary instead of main. I don't want that. I'm going to close this and not save and reopen it. Okay, so that's for the replace. And well, that's it. You can say find next or find previous, replace one by one, whatever, whichever you want. If you want to replace all at the same time, replace all and that's it. And you even have a close button to close this window. Find, replace, uh, pretty useful features when you want to rename, let's say a variable, uh, you want to be sure to rename change the name of the variable and then do a replacement whole words only case sensitive even if basic pure basic is not case sensitive for the variable names and all this stuff it's uh, better for you to replace if you want to rename a variable or a procedure use the whole words only and the uh, case sensitive to be sure that you're only replacing the same words skip you can skip the comments skip the strings that's your call, but very important and, and, and useful feature, find replace. You have another feature in Pure Basic that you can find in some of the text editor. I'm using, for example, Notepad++, and it has this uh, feature, which is find in files, okay? Edit, find in files, or control shift F, control shift F. So this tool here is to find text in many files at once. So same options, you have text you are searching for, you cannot replace, it's only to find text, and you have the same options. Well, not exactly the same options, you have the four same here, case sensitive, whole words only, don't search in comments, don't search in strings, but you have a new one, you don't have the selection anymore, but you have the include subdirectories. Because over there you have two new fields, root directory. So what is the root folder that you're starting your search in? What kind of filters, sorry, what kind of files, what files are you looking into to search for this text? So here by default, it's all uh, pb star.pb files, okay? All files that end with .pb will be looked into. And, and that's it. So the in, include subdirectory will start from this folder and search also for all subdirectories within it. So it's a recursive search within the subfolders. And that's pretty much it. So here, that's my starting point. I will look for the word procedure in all pb files. I will include subdirectories and look for case sensitive and hold words on it. Let's start. If you launch the search, a new window open with the results. Okay. All my procedures are there in main final, main initial, video, PB, whatever, this stuff. Okay. Let's say print usage here. This opens the file and select the exact line where you have here. So it's line 961 procedure is right here. So it's very easy to find some text in many files starting from a specific folder and in subfolders if you want. 
If you want to select more than one filter here, okay, for PB file, but I want also to search in PBF. You have, it's a comma separated. You have to put a comma, not a semicolon, not a colon, not a space, comma, and then star dot, for example, PBF. And then uh, if I do the search again, I get the same results, but somewhere here, I have some PBF files that I also search for. And you can clear the results here. And that's pretty much it. Of course, the search in comments, search in strings here, those two options, they work if you're looking into uh, pure basic files. But if you're use, looking into pure text file, let's say here you want to say star.txt, you want to search in some text files for the word, I don't know, I don't know if I have some. No lines found, okay. The don't search in comments, don't search in strings will also apply based on the, on the same rules. Okay, so let's try to find something in a text file instead of a pure basic file. Here I have created this quick file with what could be a comment in pure basic, semicolon hello, a string, you know, within double quotes, and hello. So let's look for, let's search for hello, of course, in the same folder here, text, let's not include some directories, case sensitive, whole words only, we don't care, but let's try this first. Three lines, one, two, and three, hello, 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 okay. Now, don't search in comments, don't search in strings, start again, and this time only one line, line three, with the hello. So even in text files, which are not pure basic files, the search engine behaves just as just as if it was a text file, a uh, pure basic file, meaning comments are anything after a semicolon and a string is anything between double quotes. Okay, and that's it for the uh, find, replace, and find in files features of Pure Basic. Also, I wanted to tell you that since a few weeks now, I have opened my own online store, shop.pure-programming.com, and I am an official distributor of Pure Basic. So you can have a look, and if you need to buy a license, if you have a free a demo version of Pure Basic, and you think that it's a very good tool that you're using it a lot and you want to expand to full feature meaning more than 800 lines of code then buy a license and to do so go on the shop.pureprogramming.com website and get yourself this uh, pure basic single user license this will give you access to the fantasy software this will create basically an account on the fantasy software website from which you can download any version that you want and you will have access to all updates for life. So 79 euros for life. Uh, if you want to support the channel, just go to the website here, shop.pure-programming.com and get yourself a license of Pure Basic. You can even buy some t-shirt from there as well and I will put more t-shirt designs soon. That being said, thank you all for watching. I will see you soon.